Unlike in the first semester, where we started to upload our website to our remote server only at the end of the design process, in this particular semester, we are actually uploading as early as possible to our remote server. And that's to establish that we have a spare location and that everything is working OK on the remote server. So the first thing I do at this stage is I connect up and then I simply press upload all files, noting that I've cloaked both semester A's work and my resources folder to ensure that I'm not uploading things that aren't necessary. So I can say upload the whole site. And when that's complete, I can then have a look at the actual site online. And you'll see that I've got my website here. That's the index page. And actually all I do did to get the second page was add the name, which is bootstrap sample .html. I'll also show you how it's just that name there. And now that I have a sample online, we can see that it's got um, a navigation, which isn't fixed to the top at the moment. We can see we've got a header area. We've got various buttons perhaps that we don't need. There's three columns. I will want to keep my three columns. Uh, I might actually choose these. And we've got a footer area at the bottom. So I'm going to delete the components of this that I don't need in order to leave me with a navigation bar, a header, three columns, and a footer, because that's the plan that I made within my logbook.